Hi, I'm here with Stella Ayoleke. By the way, did I pronounce that well? Ayoleke. Ayoleke. All right, I'm, I'm going to get used to that. Um, she's the winner of the women's 100 meters hurdles title. How does it make you feel being a champion? I can't really express how I feel right now. Like, put it in words. I'm so overwhelmed. I'm so happy for making this because God really made it a reality for me. I'm so glad. Stella, you were actually the favorite, you know, coming here, but it's a championship. Anything can happen, upsets, you know. I saw the way you celebrated. It must have meant so much to you winning that title. Um, coming out there, I just, I was just unusually calm. I don't know, I was just unusually calm. I knew that I was going to come here to do something really amazing. So there were some reports that you arrived a day before or that you arrived on the day. I need you to put it the record straight. Yeah, did that same morning. Arrived that day. Oh wow, you arrived on the day of the event. So when, while you were traveling all the way from Lagos, while you were traveling all the way from Lagos down to um, Asaba, like, did you feel any tension within yourself knowing that, okay, you've not had some rest, like, would you even perform well? Coming here yesterday, I just, I was actually really tired, but I just had to like come, I, when I came yesterday, I just did some little warm-ups, just get my body active, and that was just it. 13.58 seconds, new personal best. Yes. I worked really hard for this, I mean, I worked really hard for this, and I'm so happy that I could come here to really showcase my talent. So, um, Stella, let's talk about what happened in 2021 when you had that injury, you know, that I know, I'm not sure you've spoken much about it, but that period, what really happened between your mindset, your family, did you consider quitting the sport? No, it was even a, it was a motivation for me to come back. I even do better because it was like a few days to um, this same competition that it happened and so it's just like a motivation for me to come back and even do better than the way I was before. Stella, 100 meters hurdles is gathering, you know, interest. Now we have to be almost running a world record, you know. What does that mean to you? Like I said, it's a motivation for me seeing Toby. I mean, she's everybody knows her. Like, I just want to be, I want to be in that stage too. Like you said, everyone knows her, and she has made athletics so popular now. And um, it's a bit glamorous. People are now okay. There's an athletics, um, you know, event that they can do and um, become so popular, become a world record holder. You yourself, have you thought about it that one day you want to be, you know? at that stage like maybe gain that popularity and limelight uh i know it's only possible by by god's grace and with my hard work i know it is something i can achieve you mean the world record yes you actually know what the world record is right yes tough tough yes <laughs> anything is possible but it's just a gradual process okay Thank God this is on tape, so when you run that world record, we'll come back to this video. But finally, um, Stella, so that I let you go, um, 2023, there's a whole lot to look forward to. There is the World Championships, there is the African Games, you know. What personal targets have you set for yourself now that you're running 13.5? Uh, I mean, it's December, you're running 13.5 now, you know, with good build-up next season. You could actually run faster than this. So, but I need to hear from you what personal targets you've set for yourself. Um, all fingers crossed. Anything can happen next season. So, let's just wait. Maybe a sub-13. Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stella. I wish you all the best for next season. And hopefully you get a world record one day. I'm, I'm, I'm speaking it into existence now for you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you.